Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to execute a stored procedure which has both input as well as output parameter. Say I have a stored procedure sp underscore get salary by employee id where input parameter is employee id and output parameter is employee salary. Let me execute this. So the input parameter is 11 then the output parameter should be its salary that is 7890. So I have a text box where I will be passing input parameter button on click I need to display the value in this label. I do not need this grid view anymore. Save this. Double click the button. I have the same code. I don't need this grid view code anymore. In fact I do not need execute data reader because it is a scalar query which is going to return me a single value. So I can simply say cmd dot execute scalar. I don't need data reader anymore. My stored procedure is get salary by EMP ID and I have one input parameter that is nothing but EID copy this my parameter name should be same whatever I have given in my stored procedure and the value I am getting from textbox one I have another parameter that is nothing but CMD dot parameters dot I need to simply add it and I need to give the name same as my name in stored procedure and I should give the DB type it is of type float because it is salary it is of type float if it is of type var care, I need to give var care, then comma size. Say it is var care and size 50, I need to write 50 here. Every parameter is by default input with command. Till now, whatever we have seen, we said cm cmd dot parameters dot add with value. All these parameters are input parameters by default. Now, if I want to make a parameter as output parameter, I need to say it explicitly. So, I have added the command parameter cmd dot parameters dot add. Then I should say dot direction. The direction is equals to parameter direction dot output, which means that this parameter is an output parameter. And rest of the things are same what I want is I want to read the value of this output parameter after executing the query say after executing scalar how do I read that I need to read it to this label so I'll say label one dot text is equals to cmd dot parameters of I need to write the name of the parameter here that is nothing but employee salary dot its value and say dot to string save this this should give me the output value of the stored procedure and I am assigning it to the label. Save this and execute it. I will write the employee ID as 10. Click the button. I get the salary that is nothing but 5000. So salary of employee 10 is 5000. So here I have added two extra things. One is the direction of the parameter that is nothing but output and the other thing is reading the value from that output parameter 
if I have n number of output parameters to the stored procedure I can go on add in the same sense and I can read them in the same sense so that's it this is very simple this is how you can call stored procedures of various kind using ADO.NET thank you very much